<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the DK Podcast Show. I am Dustin, and this is my buddy over here, Colton. Yes, and we're here today to talk about it's summertime and what all goes on in summer, vacations and concerts. Well, for most people. Well, unless you're me. I hate vacations. I absolutely loathe going on vacation, and my wife loves to make me go. I think she's trying to kill me a little bit quicker. Because like, if I go on vacation, I think to myself, how much crap do I What's going to gonna happen? Done? Well, what do I need to get done before I go? And then what's getting jacked up while I'm gone? So, Nothing now. Well, no. With the agents, man. Dude, do you know how many questions yeah, I have to true. answer and crap like that? Like, uh, yeah. it's ring, 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 ring. Stuff goes south all the stinking time. So, But she makes me go. She's, hey. she's going on uh, what we call Shark Week in a week and a half. It is a week where she takes sis and my mom and her mom goes to the beach. All ladies. And so we call it Man Week. Yeah. It is quite fun. I tell her that it, the more she goes on vacation by herself, the closer I get to curing cancer because I get so much crap done. I don't have to worry about her. You would have want to. All that fun stuff. So... <laughs> What's uh what's been your favorite vacation ever? The one you don't go on? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite vacation ever. Yes. Uh well I mean I've I've went on multiple trips throughout the years. Mom and dad's always like try to keep that in in there. Before COVID especially. Yeah. Uh but I went to I probably Vegas wouldn't have four a, time since yeah. COVID. I'm a degenerate. You are a degenerate. You're a fucking savage. Mm. Bill motherfucking mm-hmm. gay. <laughs> nah, but, uh, so I like them all. I like all of them. They're all fun. But my most eventful, probably, like I'm kind of changing up, would probably be Curacao, part of the ABC Islands. Yeah. Uh, lots of interesting stuff happened on that one. Yeah. So my wife makes me go to Disney World quite often. So if you want to go eventful, um, I went to Disney World during a hurricane that came through it and closed down all of Disney World. I think it was Irma, which is really cool to go down there. When the, when the hurricane's well, yeah, coming? Yes, so when the hurricane came through. Most people's sh- out here like fleeing oh, the dude, dang state was, and this man's going to it. It was crazy. Like Everybody's on the highway going the other way and we're just like flying down 95 and it looked like we were, it was just us and the, the linemen. They thought, right they thought you were uh, going to save some people. Exactly. So we got down there, and we stayed down there, and nobody was there for the first couple of days. We just, like, didn't even have to get off of rides. Just kept on Yeah, just them. kept going. Just kept going all the way around. So that was pretty cool. But didn't you just say they closed down Disney World? Before? They closed it for a day for the hurricane. Oh, like, and then, like, the next day they were, like, uh, They're open. open, but nobody was there. Because everyone was still gone. Yeah, everybody canceled their trips. So I bet that was pretty it fun. It was like, pretty cool. Uh, like, going into – the Magic Kingdom parking lot, and they're not Nobody. a single car. It's like on the Griswolds. That's exactly what it looked like. Uh, I, I did did you video. hold someone at gunpoint with a BB gun? No, but I could if I needed to. Um, I digress. No, I, I would never do that with a BB gun. I would use a real one. <laughs> Got them. Um, I also had to do a 10-mile race on my 30th birthday, maybe? Oh, yeah, birthday? you told me about yeah. that. Yeah. 10-mile Tower of Terror. Uh, yes, at 10 o'clock at night. Dressed up as Russell from from the movie Up. And um, did that with a couple mm. buddies of ours. You yeah. ever had to... Uh, Bonnie was pregnant. That was terrible. I kind of know how that feels. Like, you ever had to... You've been m- pregnant? That's no, weird. no, no, no. I've yeah, never okay. been pregnant. Okay. Just shut, shut the hell up. Men can be pregnant now. Shut the hell up. Don't don't get me started, man. Yeah. Don't get me started. And, uh... Yeah, so the last trip that we went on, I actually had a ruptured patella tendon, a.k.a. my quad muscle disconnected from my kneecap, and it was terrible. It was <laughs> that does so, not sound fun. So bruised, so nasty. I How did a, you do it? I rode around on a, a cart. Uh, no, like, how did you, like... Oh, I was blowing leaves. It was awesome. Being a dad. It's, yes, working in my yard, <clears throat> slipped on some leaves, planted my foot whenever I planted. Don't you think that's crazy that you can go all through a sports career, oh, do a gosh. bunch of crazy shit, Been playing nothing basketball. happens, and then the yeah. simplest thing, you're messed yeah. up. Yeah, and it, it's, it was rough. I'm still dealing with it. Heck, today it's season swollen. But my knee was black and blue. I had to ride on that little power wheelchair everywhere. We put uh, Hey Hey 
We made him a, a tow trailer and put him behind me. And it, it was like a drift cart. And it was like a brrr around the current. Did you get the handicap? Like yeah, getting the handicap and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't give you like, you can't do any like fast passes unless it's like a really old lot or a ride that doesn't have like ADA approved stuff. They don't, they just like come back later. Uh, they give you like a time to come. So I didn't have to sit in line as long, but it was terrible. I'd have to take my knee brace off to get on the ride. Oh wow! Yeah, because I'm a super dad, so could I couldn't fly. Like blown out knee. This man's still riding Space Mountain with his kids. Exactly, I did. Can't yes. say he isn't committed. Space Mountain was rough. So was um the the rock and roll coaster. You going no, that I one? ain't doing that one. I puke on that anyways. But uh, the mine train. Speaking of Florida, I went to Daytona and slept in a trailer during Bike Week. Because uh, I got left there. I had to sleep in a motorcycle trailer, seeing my breath, me and a buddy of mine. Yep. Our fearless leader left us sitting there, so we had to, uh, we didn't have a hotel that night. It was pretty rough. So I don't go to bike week. Yeah, sleeping in the motorcycle trailer. It was like, it was early, it was uh, the February bike week too, so it was cold as piss. So, I one time, speaking of event, eventful, we are at, uh, it was a bachelor party in Vegas, and we booked our flights and didn't realize that it was 12 a.m. Um, versus p.m., and so we missed our flights. It was um, whenever I sent my wife a message and said, hey, why, is, why did I get a message saying that I, I missed our flight? She said, you did, you dumbass, because you can't tell the difference between a.m. and p.m., so... So we missed our flights leaving Vegas. I'm sure I wasn't the first or last person to do that. Leaving Vegas. Yes. Yes. It's always something. Yeah. That's true. My brother ruptured his eardrums uh, snorkeling in Curacao. Like, if you're going to get hurt, you're going to get hurt on vacation. Oh, yeah. Especially me. All right. So, like, the other other big things for summertime are, like, cookouts and concerts. Yeah. What's your favorite concert you've ever been to? I've been to a couple. But probably uh, Luke Combs when he come and played at Al. You went up there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was up there, all right. <laughs> uh, Bonnie and Jay went to that concert. Oh, really? Yes. Yep. That was a sweet concert. I, was, uh, I sat here and bit was Mr. Mom. Were they on the floor? I don't know where they were at. I'm uh, sure it was Bonnie. Love, yeah. I think uh, so. See, I was at the very top. Oh. Uh, very, very top. So Speaking of Appalachian alum. Uh, we're big Eric Church fans. Eric Church? Yeah, because back in the day, whenever Bonnie... Ain't he coming to the barbecue festival? No, that's Garth Brooks. Oh. Yes. Um, but, um, yeah, back in the day, when Bonnie was at App, he used to play the local bars. She actually was uh, really good friends with his sister back in college. So, they were... I don't know if they were roomies or going to be roomies, but, like, that close. So, sort of weird, but... The new to... Yeah, I mean, give her a call. He needs to come play over here at the yeah. house or something during our next mantle next pool party. yeah next event Man, mantle pool party. You know, if he's gonna cancel for for the uh, would have to throw NCAA a rager. championship. <laughs> Did you see that where he canceled for the NCAA championship? Yeah, just to go, just to go. Yeah, to watch him lose. <laughs> Some so. uh, who was it? didn't someone do that for football too? I don't know about. I that. think I think it, someone did that for football too. It's like that. screwed the tour. Yeah. I used to follow Kenny Chesney around back in the day. Kenny Chesney? Yeah. I don't, you weren't thought about back then. So I went to like four or five concerts one summer for, of his. So I mm. went to Knoxville. Is for there it. like one concert you wish you could could have seen? No, we went to the one in Knoxville. It was amazing. Yeah. But um, I'm not really back in, into the Kenny Chesney stuff. Most times whenever we go to a concert, it just turns into a big shit show. Yeah, because everyone gets hammered. Hammered, and... yeah, yeah. This one time, uh, we went to see um, uh, Chris Stapleton, and during this concert, well, there was a whole group of us agents. We all piled in Bonnie's car, and um, uh, everybody wanted to kick this one girl's ass because she kept messing with everybody's husbands. Um, oh wow! There. Yeah, even our DD. Who was a chick at the time was like, I'm gonna kick her ass, kind of thing. <laughs> then we had one person that drop kicked another chick in the chest at, <laughs> at the end of it. Oh my we had gosh. A, we had a dude 
that as soon as we got in, he uh, he went to go try to find the bathrooms and went out the exit and and couldn't get back in. Couldn't get back in. So, uh, you want me to tell you what I do at country music concerts? I dress up like the girls do. I wear nutcutter shorts, Daisy Dukes, and and my cowboy boots. Holy shit! Yes, it is awesome. Same. I, it is awesome to to walk around there. Everybody wants to take a picture with the uh, with the Daisy Dukes because you know every girl dresses like a hooch at a country music concert, especially in the summertime. Oh yeah. But now they're so busy. It's like I, I don't so wanna, strict. Yeah, it's, it's craziness. It is uh, crazy. Uh, yeah, I I'm not a big concert guy now anymore. I'd love to half. go to a con- couple concerts. Yeah, well, who would you want to see more. if you could go see anybody that's ever lived? That's ever lived? Yeah, what artist? The artists? original Leonard Skinner band and Hank Williams Jr. <laughs> oh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> the original. That doesn't surprise me at all. Oh. Like, what? Who would not want to go see Hank Jr. and <laughs> original Leonard Skinner in concert? <laughs> Those two legends. Uh, what what radio station you listen to if you have to listen to one? Uh, I don't, I don't, mostly rock 92. I listen to classic rock me. music. I don't, I don't, it's just not my thing, man. Listen but, to music? Yeah, I just. Not even just past time. If I'm going to listen to music, I'm going to listen on Spotify, and it's usually gangster rap. 90s gangster yeah. rap. Yeah. My boys can tell you who's Oh, first. I know, they're like, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> yeah. Kelton, play, play some Snoop Dogg. Yes, ex- exactly. Like. Yeah. Eminem. Yeah. You know, see, like, it's usually either Eminem or Dr. Dre. Maybe mm-hmm. a little Tupac if Chase wanted to get like real feisty. Yeah. But I like you, ACDC. Yeah, if you, I was about to say, if you take him to football practice ever, Jay's got his psych up music and it is just like it's a locker room. It's quite funny to listen to him and watch him Metallica and ACDC. Cause oh. I, just, I just taught him that kind yeah, of stuff. Well, yeah, dude, like we, we definitely hit the Metallica on the way home. He was like, Kelton, cut the Metallica before football practice. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah. He he likes to hit people and then get some jacked up. I don't care. It doesn't bother me one bit. That's what yeah. it takes you to get in the zone. Do it. Do it, boss. Get in the zone. Yeah. So now now we're having a problem, though, at our house of listening to music. I got a parent hack for anybody out there. So I keep looking at my, my Google or Alexa to see what kind of music they're listening to. The other day they were listening to some songs they shouldn't have. And so I told them, I said, listen here, boys. I'm going to start looking at your music. And if I don't like what you're listening to, we're going to listen to it at the dinner table with Nanny and Pop Pop sitting right there with it. So, oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so that is my new parent hack. If you don't want your kids what to What are listen, they listening to? Uh, uh, I don't even know who the artist was. It was some called Oreo. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, fuck. I, I did not show them that. Mm-hmm. Just, I did not show them that. I don't believe you one bit. I promise you I did not show them that. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know who did. And so, uh, but uh, I didn't know the song, but I just read the lyrics. I mm-hmm. fuck these bitches and the Oreos. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I was not very happy with that one. Uh, I could imagine. Yeah. How so old are they? Like seven, I, I threatened. <laughs> seven and five? No, they're eight and, eight, eight and seven. Eight and seven. Yeah. That's close. Listen to, the youngest one's five. Yes. I get, I get look, my, look at you. Yeah, I get my numbers good, mixed up. You're a good big brother there. So. I'm not even. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keep going. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's my new parenting problem. I like that they're listening to music, but Jesus, don't listen to the explicit. You know, what, you know what they can listen to? Big big energy. The uh, DK podcast. They show. could listen to the DK podcast. Show. I'm pretty sure they live it, so it's not quite the same. Yeah, that is true. I don't know. So, if you could go to one place in the world, where would it be? On a vacation. One place in the world. Yeah. Uh. Right now, currently, it's my Europe trip that I can't go on. Like, so we're going to like I think it's Ireland, Germany, and uh, like a bunch of different like Paris. Yeah, we're going to all like them places, and like it was, we're just gonna stay like a couple of days in each place. So I did twenty one days in the sixth grade in Europe. I thought that way was fun. No, it was way too early to do it. Oh yeah, in the sixth grade. Yeah, I di- I didn't respect the history off of anything but um 
it was some of it was cool, some of it, but it was an exchange student program. So we did spend a week at somebody's house, and that was freaking weird. <laughs> like think about doing yeah, that that'd nowadays. Be... Think about doing Dude, that. Dude, I was like, I forgot who I was listening. I was with some podcasting, like hitchhike across the road or across the world, and he said like he'd stay at people's houses. He said like one time he <laughs> he woke up and. Like he was laying there in his bed, acting like he was sleeping. The guy just stood there with a knife over him, and then like went but went to sleep. The next day, he was like, "Yeah, I planned on killing y'all." Okay. And, and then like like there was some interesting so stuff. So I had a buddy of mine who actually lived in in a house I was remodeling, and um, he hitchhiked from Maryland down to High Point to see his girlfriend. Maryland to High Point. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, them High Point girls must have something about them. Yeah. But uh, hitchhiked from Maryland to High Point and then was going to leave. And um, I was like, dude, you can stay around here. He's like, well, I'm probably just going to hitchhike to California. Um, and he lived in, in that house for like nine months or so. He had a scooter. and he would Like ride, a moped? Yeah, and he <laughs> would ride a scooter from Ardmore in the Winston-Salem area all the way to High Point to go to work every day and what? yes and it was nuts he was a waiter he uh, brian is a crazy man and um, um that w- you would see some interesting stuff though, dude like. um but the crazy part about it is is they stayed together married and then moved to california and then now moved back to maryland so um so he him staying around i don't know if that helped out or anything i hope it did i i Tell myself it helped us. You ought to give him a call one day. Oh, I talk to him every now and then. So, um, <laughs> hitchhike. Yeah, he. Uh, but has he ever told he, any stories? Yeah, about he it? told me one time that a dude wanted him to give him a little favor for the hitchhike, and he's like, "No, nah, I'm not in that. I was just like really wanting a hitchhike," and the dude told him to get out of the car. Oh my gosh! So it was, you know, there's some crazy people out there, folks. I've never hitchhiked, but I'll, I'll pick up a hitchhiker. A hitchhiker? Yeah, if it's like a, a real dude and I'm going, like, I usually don't travel too far, but if if I'm going, like, Winston or Greensboro and I saw a hitchhiker, it looked like you're like a normal dude yeah. trying to hitchhike, I'd pick him up. Yeah, I would But I'm too. also six foot two, 220 pounds, so it's not, you're going to mess with me, you're going you gonna to struggle. Yeah, that was, so, that, that's, you know, stay, stay strapped, get clapped. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you could have one vacation home, Anywhere in the world, where would you put it? Uh-huh. And why would you put it there? Vegas, and that's an easy answer. Because it saved me money. That's true. Maybe Disney World, because it might save me even more, because it's a lot more expensive for me to go over there. Why not but both? Because it's, then my wife would just get season passes all the time and go down there. So, uh, that's a couple of our stories about concerts, summer times, and... Uh, Ho- hopefully trips. we can make a couple more this summer. Yeah. Oh no. Nah, yeah. Where should Definitely we should. go together? Where should we go? Yeah. Can you ski? Well, I can't ski. You can't, dude. I've tried skiing and snowboard multiple times throughout my life. I, I can cannot do snowboard. it. Snowboard. My unawkward or awkward ass can snowboard. I can't do it. I had a girlfriend back, slump buster, taught me how to snowboard. Well, you so. were up at App a lot, I would imagine. No, 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 never snowboarded up there. What? Mm, I always skied when I was up that way. But I went to Charlotte, so. That's all we've got for you today off of the DK Podcast Show. Oh, yeah. Vacations and favorite concerts as we've ever been to. And that's still little Kit Kat just sitting there. Mm, those Kit Kats got me. So, stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you all. See you all soon.